Hello everybody. I know um, it's probably about 10.30 Central Time. So I'm getting ready to prepare to get into bed. Um, getting up on some work. And um, of course, you know, I, as I promised, I keep my word uh, that we were going to be doing daily devotions. And so I'm getting a late start, but I wouldn't go to bed without doing a devotional with you. So, um, again, for those who would like to get your Bible, please get your Bible. And um, we again are doing from Jesus Today by Sarah Young. Experience hope through his presence. So, um, we're on day two. And this is what he has to say. Relax in my presence, knowing that nothing can separate you from my love. The worst case scenario in your life that I might stop loving you is not even in the realm of possibility. So rejoice that you don't have to perform well enough to earn my love or to keep it. This love is pure gift flowing out of my perfect excuse, out of my own perfect righteousness. It secures your connection to me, your savior for all eternity. Since the worst thing imaginable is not possible, you can relax and live more abundantly. When things are going well in your life, I want you to enjoy those good times fully without worrying about what is on the road ahead. When you are facing tough times, I will help you and strengthen you with my love. Even though you live in a world where trouble is inescapable, you can be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Three scriptures for tonight, and this is April the 21st, 2020. So get your Bibles, and we will be reading from, the book is Romans, chapter 8, verse 39, and it reads, Neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, this John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So, I'd like to start off by Definition. What is relax? Relax is to make or become less tense or less anxious. Peace is a freedom from disturbance and tranquility. What is spiritual peace? Spiritual peace is inner peace refers to a deliberate state of psychological or spiritual calm despite the potential presence of stressors. Okay, so I had looked up and I found nine ways to have inner peace. And that way you can enjoy life. So, here we go. The first one is, focus your attention on those things you can control. 
to spend time in nature. Three, be true to yourselves. Four, mind what you eat. Five, exercise or on a regular basis. Six, do good deeds. Seven, be assertive. Eight, meditate. We have a supernatural power within us to defeat evil that is around us. The Holy Spirit is that power. We have peace in Christ that suppresses, that surpasses any peace. Mm. Wow. We have peace in Christ that surpasses any peace. Any trials and tribulations that happens in our lives. So, he tells us to relax in his presence. And he tells us to know, he said to know, that nothing can separate us from his love. Now, you know, the Lord has, he gives us unconditional love. And the only thing that can separate us from his love, or really, that can separate us from him, not from his love, the only thing that can do that is us by sinning. We separate ourselves. We take ourselves from him. Other than that, nothing, nothing can separate us. He tells us, to, you know, so rejoice and knowing that we don't have to perform to earn anything. Everything he gives us is a gift. It's grace and mercy. It's a gift. And we don't have to do it's nothing that we can do to, to earn anything that God does for us or anything that just anything. We, we, we just can't earn it. Um, we don't have to uh, perform to get something. He freely gives it, but we do need to be obedient. We do need to show him love. Because remember, as we said yesterday, that God is love. And with him being our creator, and we're his creation, then he wants us to show him love. And how do we show the Lord love us by keeping his commands? That shows that we love him. So remember that he wants us to uh, not to, to worry about anything. Because if you worry, you're not being relaxed. If you worry, uh, and, and I don't mean because we're human, we're going to be concerned about things. But don't let it consume you. Don't let that come so consumed that you just, that's all you're thinking about. And you forget that God is bigger than what is on your mind. Okay? He wants us to enjoy the good times in life. Okay? And he tells us when we're facing those tough times, he's there. He already tells us he never leaves us. He's always here, but we have to call upon him. And he says, what will he do? He will help us. So, he tells us, even though we live in this world, he said there are going to be troubles. He tells us this, but we are to what? Still be in good cheer. And why? Because he already went dead buried and arose he went through it all so we wouldn't have to he overcame everything and that's why he says we are more than conquerors we are overcomers we can do all things through christ jesus that strengthens you and me we can overcome anything we have to believe it 
First of all, pray and talk to the Lord. Ask Him to help. And then relax and enjoy the rest of the day because you put it in His hand. So, that is the devotion for tonight, April the 21st, 2020. And before I uh, close, I'd like to say a closing prayer. Father God, we come to you with humble hearts. We thank you, Father, for all that you've done for us today. We thank you for keeping us and equipping us with everything that we're needing, Father God. Father, as we lay our heads down, we pray and ask that you protect us in our homes, our families, our children. Protect those that are working night shifts, Lord, getting things prepared for the Lord's willing the next day. Father God, we just pray that you watch over, watch over us, and that we have peace in you while we are resting, while we're sleeping, Lord. We ask that you just watch over this world. We pray and ask all these things in your sweet son Jesus' name. Amen. So, I'm going to bed. Go sleepy. I love you all. God bless you. Remember the Lord loves you too. Have a good night. Till next time.